wild world is always a battlefield. The animals always have to fight to survive, especially small animals to escape the fate of becoming the food of predators. They must always be clever and know how to use their instinctive power. Many animals also realize that they have a better chance of survival when they work in groups to find food and escape threat from predators. Typical for their versatile animal is the African wild dog, worthy of the name of the master of the art of coordinate hunting. The African wild dog with its small body has become a formidable predator in the wild life world. The African wild dog, the master of the art of hunting coordination. The world of wildlife has a variety of different animals, each with different behaviors and ways of life. Perhaps their life habits are greatly influenced by their own strength and weaknesses. Strong, violent animals will tend to choose a more solitary lifestyle. They have a very high natural instinct to live independently. Our animals can easily see tigers or lions. They do not like to be friends with other tigers or lions because the competitiveness of tigers or lions is very high they understand that their own strength they can survive and earn food. However, herd life is seen as a smaller and weaker animals. They rely on the strength of the herd to escape and attack violent predators and above all work to hunt for survival in the harsh wild world. Their bravery is not capable of fighting one-on-one -on -one with other animals so they have to rely on the strength of the whole herd. The African wild dog is one such animal. A lonely wild dog when seeing a lion is afraid to run, but the whole pack of wild African wild dogs seem to not be afraid at all. This is the advantage of living in a herd. The African wild dog is a small mammal. They possess an extremely impressive coat with black, brown, yellow, and white spots. In particular, each dog has a different spot. No one is the same with one pair being round ears. The habitat of the African wild dog is concentrated in eastern and southern Africa. African wild dogs live in groups. Each pack can have up to 20 individuals, each living in harmony, fighting together, hunting together. Besides, it also assesses that the pack of African wild dogs is the best unity and discipline in the wildlife world. They organize their hunt and operations in a smart, efficient way. In the pack of African wild dogs, there will be a leader. All other members must obey. When hunting prey, the meat is divided up from top to bottom. Other dogs wait patiently, standing guard until their turn to eat. They almost never fight each other for food due to this ranking system. They are a very intelligent and optimal organized halo. Each member of the herd has a mission and is an indispensable piece of the puzzle. On hunting trips, each African wild dog has its own job and is very organized. Usually there will be one animal as a leader leading the pack. The remaining members will split from many directions in order to ambush, attack, and defeat the prey as quickly as possible. They work together to create strong teams capable of fighting all opponents, even the most ferocious animals. The pack nature of African wild dogs is very evident in times of coordination to hunt. Thanks to this fine art of hunting, they have a hunting success rate up to three-fourths in each hunt. Each individual has the ability, has a good sense of discipline and solidarity. Packs of wild dogs will often go together in search of prey and identify targets. The leader of the pack will take the lead and roam around the desert in search of prey. The favorite food of the African wild dog is antelope, wildebeest, and elk. This species specializes in hunting antelopes, caught by chasing them to make their prey tired and exhausted. After identifying delicious prey, the wild dogs begin to work together to hunt for prey. With simple prey like deers, the pack of wild dogs only takes a few minutes to hunt. 
This dizzying speed makes wild men like lions and leopards also very wary because the pack of wild dogs will split up to begin to bite and kill the prey. In order to hunt a large prey, the members of the herd need to have smooth coordination. Before chasing the prey, they spread out to surround and choose a target. One animal approached the prey, another moved to block the flanks, and the others lined up altern alternately. Their purpose is to separate the intended target from the herd, surrounding the flanks, and choose to prevent the prey from escaping. It is an extremely efficient and scientific way of hunting with herd species. To kill small prey, the wild dogs simply crush to the ground and rip their powerful jaws among the best in the natural world. Even with the opponent being a wild buffalo, the wild dogs can solve it quickly. They will split up to attack a group to deal with the mother buffalo, making it unable to defend and resist. Meanwhile, the other members have started to attack the baby buffalo with powerful fatal bites because they can quickly defeat and become a delicious meal for the wild dogs. In addition to the excellent hunting coordination, the African wild dog is known for its herd lifestyle with a high social organization and discipline. This is one of the highlights that makes them able to survive in harsh environments like many larger and more dangerous predators. After hunting the prey, the meat is divided up from top to bottom. Other dogs wait patiently, standing guard until their turn to eat. They almost never fight each other for food due to this ranking system. When a dog is sick, injured or old, or even incapacitated, the rest of the pack will take care and feed them. When the leader is injured, he is not forced to abdicate. If he is smart enough, he will still be respected and cared for by the whole flock. In situations where food is scarce, the habitat of wild animals is tight and unable to hunt for food. Wild dogs are also forced to rob from better predators. It is not difficult to come across a pack of wild dogs organized to steal food from a lion. Lions are the most violent predators of the wildlife world, but they are inherently afraid to confront herds, especially wild dogs and hyenas, two famous predators of the world. At the same time, the solidarity and optimally of the pack of wild dogs also makes a lion very wary, because when a member of the pack is in danger, they will be a cry among them as a signal for help from their teammates, and all will stand up to protect their teammates. Therefore, lions are very shy when confronting these wild dogs. In the battles against lions, the hunters also organize and work very well together to defeat the lion. With their skills and talents, the wild dogs are easy to get food, while the lion can only quietly and angrily leave. In this wild world, the stronger are not necessarily the victors.
number one opponent of the African wild dog is the hyenas. In terms of appearance, the hyena has a larger body, but compared to the art of hunting, the hyena cannot compete with the African wild dog. However, it is very rare to see a direct confrontation between wild dogs and hyenas. They live quite peacefully with each other because they know more than anyone their target is the prey of good predators. Perhaps in this cruel world of wildlife, every animal has the ability to fight every day to survive. However, if you know how to use your strengths, life will be easier. Make good use of opportunities while the African wild dog uses the strength of his teammates and the spirit of solidarity to be a weapon in the struggle for survival. In the pack of African wild dogs, they not only cooperate well when hunting, but in life among members, they also highly organize. African wild dogs live in packs with separate dominant hierarchies for males and females. Unique among social carnivores, females rather than males disperse from the herd upon sexual maturity, and the young are given priority to feed first upon capture of prey. When hunting, the adults will let the young gobble up the food first. Not only parents, but also brothers and sisters are participants in taking care and of and protecting the child in the herd. They have a very good tolerance for subordinates. Wild dogs are also born thanks to the protection and rearing of the herd. Each female feral dog can give birth to two to 20 feral puppies, after which the whole pack will protect them. In particular, they have a very strange habit, which is to swallow food and regurgitate it. They can also sometimes roll over to vomit first, then stand up to collect the messy meat on the ground. Work is often used to bring food to the young, but sometimes this extended to the older ones, to the point of being the basis of African wild dog social life. The pack life, though interesting and beneficial for African wild dogs, allows them to survive in this wild world. However, depending on each animal species, it will have its own characteristics, so living in herd is not the best way to survive. Today's video ends here. Thank you for watching all of our videos. How do you like today's videos? Please comment down below. If you love exploring the animal world, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and share the video. And now goodbye. See you in the next video.